Good evening and welcome to evening prayer. Welcome to those of you who are worshiping online and in person today in the chapel. My name is Naomi Thompson and I'm a member of Grace Lutheran Church in Lakeland, Florida. Now as we begin, let us prepare our hearts and minds for worship. Jesus Christ is risen from the dead. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. We are illumined by the brightness of his rising. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Death has no more dominion over us. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us pray. Holy God, holy and merciful, holy and mighty, you are the river of life. You are the everlasting wellspring. You are the fire of rebirth. Glory to you for oceans and lakes, for rivers and streams. Honor to you for cloud and rain, for dew and snow. Your waters are below us, around us, above us. Our life is born in you. You are the fountain of resurrection. Praise to you for your saving waters. Noah and the animals survived the flood. Hagar discovers your well. The Israelites escape through the sea, and they drink from your gushing rock. Naaman washes his leprosy away, and the Samaritan woman will never be thirsty again. At the font, holy God, we pray. Praise to you for the water of baptism and for your word that saves us in this water. Breathe your spirit into all who are gathered here and into all creation. Illumine our days, enliven our bones, dry our tears, wash away the sin within us, 
and drown the evil within us. Satisfy all our thirst with your living water, Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning you called light into being, and you set lights in the sky to govern night and day. In a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night, you led your people into freedom. Enlighten our darkness by the light of your Christ. May your word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path, for you are merciful and you love your whole creation, and with all your creatures we give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. We are your people, O God, the sheep of your pasture, the flock you have gathered. Lead us beside still waters, teach us the way of righteousness, and feed us at your table through Jesus Christ, our Good Shepherd. Amen. Our first psalm is Psalm 118. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Let Israel say, his steadfast love endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, his steadfast love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his steadfast love endures forever. Out of my distress, I called on the Lord. The Lord answered me and set me in a broad place. With the Lord on my side, I do not fear. What can mortals do to me? The Lord is on my side to help me. I shall look in triumph on those who hate me. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to put confidence in mortals. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. All nations surrounded me. In the name of the Lord, I cut them off. They surrounded me, surrounded me on every side. In the name of the Lord, I cut them off. They surrounded me like bees. They blazed like the fire of thorns. In the name of the Lord, I cut them off. I was pushed hard so that I was falling, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. There are glad songs of victory in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. I shall not die, but I shall live and recount the deeds of the Lord. The Lord has punished me severely but he did not give me over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter through it. I thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Save us, we beseech you, O Lord. O Lord, we beseech you, give us success. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, but he has given us light. Bind the festal procession with branches up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will give thanks to you. You are my God, and I will extol you. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Our second psalm is Psalm 16. Protect me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. I have no good apart from you. As for the holy ones in the land, 
They are noble in whom all, is all my delight. Those who choose another God multiply their sorrows. Their drink offerings of blood I will not pour out or take their names upon my lips. The Lord is my chosen portion and my cup. You hold my lot. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. I have a goodly heritage. I bless the Lord who gives me counsel in the night. Also my heart instructs me. I keep the Lord always before me because he is my, at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Therefore my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body also rests secure. For you do not give me up to Sheol or let your faithful ones see the pit. You show me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy. In your right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. Amen. Our reading tonight is from Revelation chapter 1, verses 1, 4 through 8. John to the seven churches that are in Asia. Grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come, and from the seven spirits who are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and rulers of the king of the earth. To him who loves us and freed us from our sin by his blood, and made us to be a kingdom, priests serving God and Father, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Look, he is coming with the clouds. Every eye will see him, even those who pierced him. And on his account, all tribes of the earth will wail. So it is to be. Amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. The word of the Lord. From Revelation 1, verse 4, grace to you and peace from him who is, who was, and who is to come. Revelation is the only apocryphal book in the New Testament. It has obscure and extravagant imagery that have led to a wide variety of interpretations. Um, I have to admit that a good portion of it is very difficult to understand. However, the primary message and the culmination of this last book of the Bible is that Jesus will come again. Christ has died, Christ has risen, Christ will come again. We speak these words on Sunday mornings in preparation for communion. I see a correlation with these words and the greetings and words from our reading today both address the past, the present, and the future. Christ has died, or to tie this to Revelation 1, grace and peace from him who was. The him is Jesus who loved us and freed us by his blood. During Holy Week, we focused on the cruel treatment of Jesus, his suffering, and ultimately his death. The services are somber, the lights are dimmed, the altar is stripped, the cross is draped in black. We contemplate our sins and focus on how, as a human being, Christ gave the ultimate sacrifice, his life on the cross. Christ has risen, or as in Revelation 1, grace and peace from him who is on Easter Sunday, we celebrated the amazement of Mary Magdalene, the confusion of the disciples, the empty tomb, and Jesus' resurrection from the dead. The church was filled with beautiful flowers, their special music, and the worship is joyful. Christ, who died a very human death, is now alive. Through his crucifixion, Jesus freed us from our sins and as it states in Revelations 1, 6, 
made us to be a kingdom, priests serving his God and Father. We are living in that kingdom right now as we walk in the light of the risen Lord. This is something to celebrate. We are free from our sins, and every day is an opportunity to serve our God. When I was young, my mother would often start our days um, by quoting verse 24 from Psalm 118, which we read earlier. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. When I was quarreling with my sister or complaining about making the bed or doing some of the other household chores, I didn't really want to hear that verse from my mother. But it was a reset for me. It did help me focus on the positive, and sometimes it helped the complaining and the quarreling. As an adult, I still have this verse in mind as I start each new day. Each new day is an opportunity for us to rejoice and reflect the love and light of our risen Lord. We can share that joy of being alive in God's kingdom on earth with others around us through showing kindness, compassion, grace, and peace. Christ will come again, or as in Revelation 1, grace and peace from him who is to come. My mother left this earth too soon after a long and painful battle with cancer. When my mother passed, I struggled because I relied on her guidance and her wisdom. I had three young children at the time, and I really needed her presence. I did get angry at God for taking her too soon. However, eventually I felt comfort in the knowledge that Christ will come again and we will be together. One of my favorite hymns is O Day Full of Grace and the words in verse 5 speak to Christ coming again. When we on that final journey go that Christ is for us preparing, we'll gather in song our hearts aglow all joy of the heavens sharing. And there we will join God's endless praise with angels and saints adoring. Grace to you and peace from him who is, who was, and who is to come. Christ has died. Christ has risen. Christ will come again. Amen. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness. The Gospel Canticle. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For you, Lord, have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation. You have shown strength with your arms and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. You have come to the aid of your servant Israel to remember the promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. Let us say, confess our faith in the words of the Apostle Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, 
the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. With boldness, let us offer our prayers to the shepherd of our souls, saying, God of goodness and mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the church in every place. Gather us together and make us one, one in ministry and mission to the world, so that there will be one flock, one shepherd. God of goodness and mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the nations of the world. Anoint all leaders with your wisdom so that they will use their power to help the poor and defend the vulnerable. God of goodness and mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for this community. Strengthen those who work each day to heal the sick, welcome the outcasts, and help sisters and brothers in need. God of goodness and mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for friends and loved ones. Comfort all who are suffering. Walk with them through dark valleys and restore them body, mind, and soul. God of goodness and mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, by the power of your spirit, help us to keep your commandments and to love one another with the love of Jesus, in whose holy name we pray. Amen. We pray Luther's evening prayer together. We give you thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously protected today. We ask you to forgive us all our sins where we have done wrong and graciously to protect us tonight. Into your hands we commend ourselves, our body, our souls, and all that is ours. Let your holy angels be with us, so that the wicked foe may have no power over us. Amen. And now we pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. We close with the day of resurrection, verses 1 and 3.